Good morning, everybody. Happy New Week. Welcome back to our channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I am just chopping up some zucchini here. Um, it is a beautiful Monday. Blix is hard at work. We are parked outside of our beautiful na old neighbor's backyard again in Berkeley. And it's just really like the most ideal situation um, to be in. If you're like, especially like navigating a city, like their backyard is so beautiful and just like, it's just so nice just to have all like the doors open. We have, I have the, the back open right now and um, I'm just making some late breakfast. Already had our coffee, already took a lovely shower at the inner shower. And um, yeah, just making some breakfast and I have a few errands to run today. So this week is an exciting week. Last week we mentioned we're going to be in a documentary. Um, it's a production based out of the UK. And again, I don't, I don't know how much details I can share with y'all yet. So I'm going to figure that out. We'll know more by tomorrow. And um, yeah, so we are actually preparing to head out of the Bay Area today to drive, um, what, an hour and a half, two hours down kind of south again towards Santa Cruz. Um, which we were there a few weeks ago and that was totally fun. So we're going back. Um, but we'll be back in the Bay area after that. So no worries. You know, I have a show up here in San Francisco, um, next week. So we definitely are going to be here. Um, I'm trying to think what else. So, oh God. So we have to do a few things. We're a little overdue for an oil change, which we usually we're way better and on top of getting that done but so I gotta do that absolutely today oh baby's out there come here baby and then I have to I'm gonna do a load of laundry somewhere and then what else do we have to do I made a list actually where's my list look I made a list I'm organized oil change laundry I have to do some emails um and make a couple phone calls so that's pretty much it on my agenda <laughs> but yeah oil change is the is the big one today if i get that done everything else can kind of wait but i really have to get that done today but um the sun is out it's beautiful it's not hot it's just a little breeze um and yeah we're just kind of chilling i have lana in here which is our neighbor's dog she's been so cute she's been just like cuddled on her bed let me show you lana Hi, sweet girl. You like being a band girl? We love having you. Lana is most likely pregnant. Lana is so cute. Like, when we were neighbors living next door to the house, she'd always just sit by the gate and, like, stare at me until I gave her, like, a treat or I had to acknowledge her just to die for. Oops. I really don't know where that... I'm pretty sure Blix used it last. Yeah, so I don't know, folks. I This week is going to be like kind of a little hectic with the filming, you know, at first. But then I think after that, it'll be really chill. We'll be we'll, able to do more slow traveling. Um, well, we're not really traveling actively right now. We're just going an hour and a half south and coming back here. Um but it'll be good it'll be nice it'll be a nice break from that intense trip back in you know up to seattle the last week or last two weeks kind of and so i'm excited for it to slow down for the time being and just enjoy the day-to-day -day again but yeah i'm gonna saute up these mushrooms and Tidy up the van to get it to be able to be ready to just drive around locally. I'm going to go run my errands to do laundry, get that oil change, and then I'll probably come back and get the doggies, and then we'll go um, to Point Isabel, which is Deccan's favorite place, and babies too. So we'll go there probably, and then, yeah, once Blix is done with work, then we'll, we'll definitely be driving down today. So I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning to the folks. Good morning to the folks. Happy Monday, folks. Oh, gosh. I had a bomb breakfast made by Bess, but I, like, halfway through the breakfast realized that I don't think you're supposed to eat the skin on the kiwi. 
on the what? On, on the, the K-way? On the Kiwi. And I was just like swallowing skin, chomping on all of it. So Who does kind of that? have a stomach ache from the skin, I think. But the breakfast was bomb. I've never heard of anyone eating the skin of a kiwi. It was so strange. It was so good though. The skin was? The entire situation. And the kiwi's really, I have two more left if you want one. I've been working for a bit, but I'm gonna take a break and shower, get like myself sorted out. And then we're gonna head to go get an oil change. Are we going together? I thought I was doing that myself. Well, I think I can get, do it on my break with you. And then we could go to Point Isabel. Okay. Right. So, I don't know. We'll see how the timing goes. Okay, sweetie. Well, enjoy your shower at Hotel Lucia and Will and Lana. Okay, bye. All right, hey, folks. It's been a few hours. We still haven't left um, Will and Lucia's backyard. I thought I was gonna go by myself to run all these errands, but we have to do some computer stuff and now Blix is almost done with work anyway, and so they're gonna come with me. And the point is everything is quite delayed, but that's okay. Um, that's how we roll, folks. But we gotta get a little visitor, a little critter out of our van before we go, so. Yeah. It's kind of sad, actually. This is the critter leaving us. She's been wanting to hang out with us in the van all day. Lana Bear. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. Alright, I'm gonna go to put her back into the house and we're gonna head out of the backyard, finally do our errands. The number one thing is really the oil change. Everything else can kind of wait, but I do have our laundry all out too, so we should probably do that. Um, where we have to go, the campsite we're meeting the film crew at is only like an hour and a half, or two hours, two hours away. So, not too bad at all. So, but we do have, we don't have any more food, so we gotta go grocery shopping. We have some stuff to do, but thank God. We got, sun. Time, yeah. we got some time. Yeah, we got some time. Alright. Uh, Flix, you want to clean up and get the... Sure, sweetie. Right, Thanks for on. directing. Yeah. Hey. Alright, well you heard Bess. I'm going to clean things up, get things rolling before we head out. See you while we do errands. A load of laundry in and taking a little donut break. Mm. Donuts are so just divine. I'm gonna wait until the washer's done, throw in the dryer. That'll be about like 45 minutes to an hour. We're gonna run over to Sprouts to go grocery shopping. Oh, we did an oil change. Totally blanked on showing you that, but we got it done, which is good. Alright folks, laundry's done, groceries done. Now it's basically it. Just gonna drop off something at Will and Lucia's. We are just wrapping up some of the last minute things we have to do before we make our drive down two hours. Are you calling someone? I'm calling the campground. So catch you in a sec. Hey folks, I'm really pissed. Um Blix here like i thought they knew me we're at the gas station we're about to leave finally after washing the car we washed peach finally so peach had a good scrub down for to be camera ready tomorrow and we're at the gas station filling up on gas and blix was like you want some snacks i was like yeah boo give me some snacks and they come back with freaking cheese it's and popcorn what do you have to say for yourself First of all, I think those are great snacks. I also got pistachios, but I've never, we've never discussed Cheez-Its being an issue or a bad, you've never told me that. I honestly thought you were gonna be like, mmm, yeah, thanks. Nope. 
Anyway, folks, it's late. A little later than we had hoped. It's 9 p.m. It'll be about 11 until we get there. Maybe a little later, but we got some rice cooking in the back. We have some leftover curry from yesterday, so we'll have food once we get there. We'll eat, crash, wake up early. The film crew is not gonna arrive until noon, so we have some time in the morning to get settled into the campsite and just chill. But we got all the errands done today. Woohoo! Enjoy your cheeses, babe. Hey folks, we made it to the campsite. It's called Sun State. It's called Sunset State Beach here in Watsonville, which is about like a little outside of Santa Cruz area. It's almost 11 p.m. so we can't see anything. We're amazed that we even found the spot. I'm just heating up some leftover curry that I made yesterday and eat it over some rice. Blix in here is Folding up our laundry that we got done earlier. Being a good houseboy. <laughs> Fan boy. Deccan is pissed as always and so is baby here. They're like, what the hell, mom and dad? They don't want to do laundry. They don't want to do laundry, but we're going to eat. We're going to feed them. It's a little late, but glad we made it and can't wait to see and show you the campsite in the morning. It's our first time here. This is kind of where we decided to do the filming. I think the rice here is also ready. We made it while we were driving, so we wouldn't drain our battery. That's smart thinking on me. And yeah, so I'm going to make us some bowls, feed the boys, and oop, bless you. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, folks. Cheers. It's a very peaceful morning here in Santa Cruz. Watsonville, technically. Excuse me, Watsonville. Do you like the cut? <sighs> folks, okay, here's, I don't know if we talked about this on the vlog yet. Can we turn off the lights? It's actually a little too bright in here, I think. It's a little better. Ooh. Natural lighting is always better, folks. So, when we lived in a regular home, like, in a stable home, non-mobile, Bess on the daily, maybe not daily, but weekly, would come home with free stuff from the street. She would collect things and we wouldn't even need it. We'd already have what she'd get and it, because it was free, she brought it home. Oh, free and cute. Free and cute. And so I thought this was over because we live in a tiny home and we don't have room for stuff. But lo and behold, we end up in Berkeley yesterday Bess goes on a walk with the boys and comes back with this little set. We have two of them. No room for it. We don't need it, and there's but no room it for lovely? it. Isn't it lovely? It's a beautiful garnet color. But you're hearing it from me first. Just we're gonna check in in about a month, maybe month and a half, and guarantee these will be out because she'll say we don't have room for them. Okay. We'll get rid of something else. What do you think about that? I don't agree. Okay, we'll see. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. Here's me and my set. 
How cute is this? We mentioned yesterday, we met, we've been mentioned that we're going to be in a documentary and, or a docu-series. It's a docu-series more accurately. And the film crew is arriving in a few hours. So we're up and at them, just getting our coffee in. The boys have already been on a walk. We put the bed away, as you saw, and we're just going to get dressed and kind of get ready for a full day of filming and showing you around the host who, again, we don't know if we're supposed to share yet, so we'll know more about it later tonight whether or not we can share, and if we can, we definitely will, so you'll know too. Anyway, it's gonna be an exciting day. I don't know how much vlogging we're gonna be able to do ourselves, but hopefully a little. Yeah. If we don't even, if we don't get to, hopefully we'll just kinda be able to check in throughout the day to let you know how the filming is going. Anyway, folks, we're gonna get ready, and we will show you around where we are at the state park. Bye. Are you enjoying Deccan? Are you enjoying breakfast outside? Luxury. Alrighty, this is Bess getting ready for the shoot, putting her hair in curlers. And I don't do this every day, folks, but I mean, I do, you know, when I'm doing my little burlesque photo shoots and stuff. Um, but also, I'm teaching the host a fan dance. <laughs> Yeah, like a burlesque. Part of it is that they really find it intriguing that you know, I'm a burlesque performer, and you know, and I've been traveling, doing some shows recently, and all that stuff. So, uh, as an activity of something that I would normally do in my life is practice, and I have a show coming up, so it's perfect timing to move the body. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do complete glam. It's gonna be a soft glam, but it'll be glam, kind of. Yeah. I did do my hair a little bit this morning because I do want to look fresh. Just getting ready still and the crew will be here in about an hour so lots to find out then. We're just kind of flying by the seat of our trousers. Hey folks, we are pretty much ready. I'm in face. Woohoo. Um, Lix is taking the boys out on another walk and we're about they should be, the film crew should be arriving any minute now. Oh, hi. Amazing. That's so sweet, sweetie. Thank you. Wow. Blick said I look amazing, y'all. How cute is that? We are excited. We're pretty much ready. I don't know. It's kind of that balance of staging something versus in also like being realistic about how it is. I don't, I want it to look like obviously how it usually is, but nice you know having guests oh, so this is kind of our setup right now we are kind of in the road a little bit because if we go further down it puts us at a really awkward slant so we might have to get our leveling box out we'll see um there are bathrooms over there if you want to use them i did use them earlier today because if i can always use a like a flushable toilet i enjoy that this is kind of see if i can there we go that's better the lighting so this is kind of the campground here we have a little fire pit a bench if we want to use that there's deccan i think the film crew is going to pull up right next to us here um so we're gonna we're waiting for them to arrive and yeah this is kind of our setup it's really nice oh Someone's coming out who's not supposed to. Excuse me. Hi. Thank you. You stay in there, sweetie, okay? And we don't need you patrolling out here. Yeah, we're just uh, waiting for the film crew. There are other people camping around us, uh, which is cool. And had a bagel, so we have some sustenance. And yeah, it's gonna be a great day. I'm so excited. Like I get nervous and I get a little anxiety runs high for me, but ultimately it's just excitement. It's always excitement. So we're kind of waiting for the crew to arrive and they're a little, there was no definitive time, but noon-ish, it's almost 1.30. So we're just waiting. A van is pulling up now, so it might be them.
Hey folks, I'm back in curlers. Um, the crew is running really way behind. I guess they're on their way now. We got a hold of them just between the reception and these things always get behind so we understand, but my hair got really frizzy so I'm gonna put, put them back in rollers. So yeah, they should be here any minute soon. Just playing the waiting game. Um, I actually, uh, yeah. We have no internet, so it's kind of like, what do you do without internet? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but no, it's actually really nice to not be so connected and just detox. I'm just detoxing. Blix, what are you doing, Blix? Playing guitar. Oh yeah, Blix has been playing guitar for the last hour. Anyway, I'm going to go use the bathroom and hopefully we'll get the day going. All right, looks like the crew has arrived. Is this them? <laughs> they just left. <laughs> what is happening? I talk, I don't know if I told you, but I talked to I talked to the director on the phone. They're just running behind. I think I already told you that, but now it's like the time frame they said they were gonna be here and Alright folks. They finally arrived. The car that we did see earlier was actually them, but I guess they were getting a shot and they were like, yeah, you probably thought we were weird. Like we just came and went. Um, so it was them. They've been here for a minute. I think just getting some stuff settled and ready, but we're about to film soon. We're going to meet um, the host soon. We're going to get mic'd up and all of that. So uh, yeah, it's finally happening. It's real. They're real people. Sun is kind of peeping in and out, but yeah. I guess we're gonna be doing this finally. Woohoo! I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. Why? I'm nervous, not scared. So we're all mic'd in. I have my mic here. Let me get going. Hi, folks. We, uh, just got done filming. That was literally like six hours of just straight filming. It was really awesome. The host is really funny and sweet. Oh, I'm just exhausted. Like, we didn't really get it. We're kind of just on, we're kind of just on go mode. I kind of just want a hot dog, I think. Huh? I'm very hungry. I know, I'm just vlogging. I was telling them I'm hungry. I think first things I'm gonna make like a hot dog just so we have some food real quick. Like I need two meals. Yeah, me too. That's how I, I feel. I don't know why we just didn't think we were hungry. No, that's what adrenaline does. We might have to eat all of them. <laughs> we're so hungry, oh my god. So I'm gonna make some hot dogs and then we're gonna chill by the fire and just decompress. Folks, we're eating hot dogs. It's so good. Mm, I'm so hungry. We're gonna eat right now. How are you feeling, boo? So hungry and tired. Mm. That was so fun, though. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I can't right now. No, I gotta eat. I'm sorry. Bye. Morning, everybody. Uh, <laughs> left you kind of on a funny note. Uh, the other night we were absolutely exhausted after filming for a handful of hours and just with the combination of the excitement of the project and and meeting the host that we were filming with um and by the way we did find out we can't share any details i figured i mean i figured that was going to be the case we will be able to share with you once it airs um but in the meantime until that's the case we can't share with you the details of the project or who it's with um and uh, like who's hosting it, who's producing it, etc. But uh, it'll be really exciting when we are able to, and we hope to have y'all all, all uh, know about it and be a part of it when um, it does come out. But that was a load of fun. We so we just crashed after that. We did a little bit more filming the next day um, for just a few more hours, and um, that was kind of it. And we really wanted to stay at the campsite that we were at, but unfortunately, of course, we didn't have reception at all. And we had driven down like the hill by the entryway and we did have 
service at one point but then it disappeared or we didn't have strong enough service to for Blix to be able to do their work so unfortunately we had to leave the campsite and even driving down to a local Starbucks in that area really wasn't good enough it's just some that area of like between like just like Santa Cruz County that area it has really horrible reception there's no connection we experienced that when we were in Santa Cruz a few weeks ago baby baby did a really good job for the most part when we were filming he um attacked a cameraman briefly but no blood was shed no hearts were broken anyway folks um i as always gonna clean up the van clear things out maybe run some errands i'm gonna make a to-do list because my anxiety as always is pretty and to making to-do lists actually help so let's do that Hey folks, <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like our vlogging, gosh, I can't even, I feel like our vlogging has been kind of all over the place this week. Yeah, it's just like, I think just having traveled midweek and going down to Santa Cruz to film, you know, what we filmed for this thing we're in and like, I'm just shaving some purple cabbage. Um, maybe kind of threw us off a little bit. We were exhausted, like Blix like went to bed at like, 6 p.m. woke up and it's just been wild but we're still posted up here in Berkeley outside of Will and Lucia's backyard which is honestly like I said the best place ever I'm making like a little taco bowl thing um, all right folks dinner is served this one looks a little better it's a little medley bowl we're very hungry here you go sweetie here you go sweetie mm. very good all right, folks, we're going to end it here. Are you burping now, too? <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of in a burping mess. But thanks for watching this week's video. It was a little whirlwind between shooting down in Santa Cruz and coming back up here. But it's been just nice having some downtime before things get a little busy again. Why are you laughing? Because I feel a burp coming. Oh. Folks, thanks for watching this week. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We're about 30 people away from hitting that 1K, which is a huge milestone for us. So thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. You're all too kind. You're far too kind. Far too kind. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we will see you next week as we get prepared for another burlesque show get road ready again to head towards the midwest and a really like intense trip out there that we're going to be doing in a handful of days what else just it's wrapping up our time i guess here life in in the van life in the van folks you heard it straight from blix's beautiful mouth all right i'll see you next week bye bye folks ghee butter that always feels good <laughs> I did do my hair a little bit this morning. Oh, the camera's a little... Care. <laughs> Holy <laughs> sh... One of the things that we normally would do. Um, Blix, even though... Hey, sweetie. Damn. Why is baby's hair in here? You farted. No, I didn't. What was that? What was what? I don't know. Are you eating? I know what you're doing. Babe, I'm filming. Sweetie, take a joke. Can I try that one? Wow. Wow, that's a big bite you took. Oh my god. We don't need your patrolling. We don't need it. Going to find his mom.